Okay, everything is set for the first part of the experiment for the RC circuit lab. We have to set the battery voltage to 9 volts, which it's already done. And uh, reset your time measuring device to zero. That's going to be our time measuring device. And then uh, make sure the switch connects the RC circuit to the power supply position one. Um, so we have to simultaneously turn the power on on the power supply and start measuring the time and the voltage. And for half-life, we need half of the 9 volts, which is 4.5 uh, volts. And uh, I'll try to keep an eye on the volts. And once it, re it goes to, once it drops to 4.5, I will store, stop the, the, the time. So, one, two, three. See the voltage? Six, five, boom. So it is about six point. So the half life voltage is 4.5 volts. And uh, the time say from the first try <clears throat> we're gonna make a few more tries uh, just because of my reaction to the voltmeter uh, is six seconds and six nine four so six nine four millisecond that's the first take uh, we have to Turn the power off, discharge the capacitor. <clears throat> you can see how the voltage drops. Inside the system and um, once the system is free from electric charge, we will do the experiment one more time. So I'm gonna clear off the first data, run and it's almost there. With the exponential decay, it takes more time to get rid of the charge at the end. And in the beginning, it's really fast. So, so one more time, almost zero against the zero volts against the resistor. So it is all discharged, going back to the charging position. One more time, one, two, three. Looking at the voltage, 4.5, that's what we're looking at. Boom. So the second try, you can see it's 6.722. And uh, this is the data for the half-life, the time to charge the capacitor to half of its value. So you can see uh, it's pretty close. Um, so out of those two, I would say 6.7 seconds. That seems um, that seems uh, fair. So this is the end for the half life, and now your job is to do the analysis so you calculate the experimental value of the capacitance that uh, the half lifetime gives you divide by the known resistor 
and natural log of 2 and then compare this value to the actual uh, truth, the accepted truth value that we got from the multimeter in the first part of the lab. Um, this concludes the first part of the experiment. Once again, this is the data. And your actual values are like so.